You will take us to the Holocron. And you will take us now. Anakin Skywalker, Mace Windu and Obi-Wan Kenobi, using the Force to break Cad Bane's resolve in the aftermath of the Confederate victory on the planet Felucia, Windu and the Jedi Council reprimanded Tano for her failure to immediately comply with the order to withdraw from the battle. As punishment, they temporarily reassigned her to serve as a guard in the Jedi archives of the temple. When Tano asked how long she would be on guard duty, Windu coldly responded by extending the punishment. Shortly afterward, Windu and Yoda discovered that the temple had been infiltrated by thieves, unknown to the Jedi. Darth Sidious hired the bounty hunter Cat Bane for an assignment to steal one of the Order's holocrons. As Kenobi and Skywalker hunted the intruders, Bane sacrificed his droid, Todo 360, by sending it to the communication center as a bomb. Before the droid could detonate, Windu Force pushed Todo into the ventilation system where it exploded. The distraction worked to Bane's advantage, allowing the mercenary to escape the temple with a holocron. However, Tano managed to apprehend his partner, Kato Parasiti, who revealed to Windu and the other Jedi that Bane's next target was Bola Ropal, the keeper of the Kaiba memory crystal. Windu deduced the true nature of the theft, the holocron that Bane stole could be used to access the crystal's data, which contained the names and locations of all known Force-sensitive children in the galaxy. With the future of the Jedi Order in jeopardy, the Council dispatched Kenobi to hunt Bane while Skywalker and Tano traveled to the Devaran system to find Ropal. Skywalker and Tano were unsuccessful in their mission to thwart Bane's theft of the crystal. Knowing that the bounty hunter's next move was to abduct the four sensitive children, the Jedi switched to a new tactic, meditation. Windu, Yoda, Kenobi and Skywalker searched through the Force, seeking to identify the children who were in immediate danger from Bane. The Force guided the Jedi to the planets Rhodia and Naboo. Kenobi failed to prevent the abduction of the Rhodian infant Wee Dun. However the Gungan child Ru Ru Page was saved, and Bane was taken into Jedi custody by Skywalker and Tano. Windu personally conducted Bane's interrogation, although initially without success as he sensed that the mercenary's fear of his client outweighed his fear of the Jedi Order. At Tano's suggestion, Windu, Kenobi and Skywalker simultaneously performed the mind trick technique on Bane. Despite the possibility of permanently damaging Bane's mind in the process, the Jedi felt that he had given them no other recourse except to force his compliance for the sake of the Order's future. The experience proved too painful for Bane, who finally relented to the Jedi's demands. Bane brought Windu, Kenobi and Clone Commander CC-2224 to Blackstall Station where the Holocron was kept. The Jedi inadvertently trigger the station's defense turrets, however, allowing Bane to leave the space station in an escape pod while Windu and Kenobi defended themselves. Both Jedi Masters ultimately survived the trap and escaped with the Holocron just prior to the station's destruction. Simultaneously, Skywalker and Tano tracked the missing infants to the planet Mustafar and were able to rescue them all before they could be used in the schemes of the Dark Lord of the Sith.